Eric Burgess here, and we've been told to find the values of x for which this series converges. Find its sum for the convergent x. And then we're given this series here, and so we'll go ahead and tackle this first bit. We want to know what values does this converge for. Now, upon closer inspection, we notice that this is a geometric series. That the dead giveaway here is the fact that it's being raised to the end. So if we go ahead and rewrite this as some... Um, from n equal 1 to infinity, we can say it like this, right? To the end. It's a little easier to see. And so from here we say, well, this would form the common ratio r, right? Whatever's in here raised to the end. And we know that r has to be less than 1 or greater than negative 1. The magnitude has to be less than 1. So we say the magnitude of negative 5x has to be less than 1. And another way of saying this is that 5x, just take the magnitude, has to be less than 1 or greater than negative 1, right? We're just writing out the absolute value. And then from here, we can divide both sides by 5, and we get 1 fifth and negative 1 fifth. So if x lands in this interval, it's going to give us uh, the what we would call the interval of convergence. So the interval of convergence is if you pick an x in this range, the series will converge. Now we want to know the sum. And you might be tempted to look here and say, well, if this is the interval of convergence, uh, half that would be a radius of the convergence. So that would be like one fifth. And you might be tempted to say, well, we'll go here. But if we pick a number, we might be missing out on some of the x because it wants it for convergent x. And if we, uh, if we pick a specific x, we're only doing it for one. We need to do it for all the x's. So we actually have to stay general. So we want to keep the x in there when we do the sum. We know it's a geometric series. So we know the sum is a over 1 minus r. So we just need to figure out what a and r are. So a is just the first term. When n is 1, this becomes a 1. And so we're left with negative 5x. So that would be a r is the common ratio and we already know that because it's already inside uh, what n is so that's also negative 5x so now we can just plug in and say the sum of this series for any x and we know it's convergent so this would only be true for convergent x would be given by a which is negative 5x over 1 <laughs> i wrote r why did i write r 1 minus negative 5x and this is equal to negative 5x over 1 plus 5x. So this is the sum of the series for convergent x. And we know it's convergent x if it lands in our interval of convergence. You may also see some people use uh, the interval notation. So right, you can rewrite this. This should be really straightforward. You can rewrite this as negative 1 fifth to 1 fifth. And then we use parentheses because they're not included. Because if, if it is at 1 fifth, then we're going to get 1, and that would break our rule right here. So it has to be not including these bounds. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know, and we'll catch you in the next problem.